Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Ricky and this is Every Gamer. Gaming is in the air everywhere. So today I'll be going to talk about the 10 things I hate the most about Animal Crossing on Nintendo Switch. Enjoy it. Number one, that my wife is playing this game from the morning to the evening. What are you talking about? It's I'm not saying true. that you're playing the game from the morning to the evening. No, just play sometimes. Really? Really. No, you're lying. Dodo, where are you? What are you doing? I'm busy, okay? I want to play Dragon Quest. No, you know, today it is birthday of my neighbor. I have to prepare a birthday gift for her. <sighs> Come on, Dodo. Look. Please. Come on, it's it's annoying this game. Come on, it's, no. it's super annoying. I have to give her a closet, a new closet for her. Dodo, you know, this is my TV, this is my Nintendo Switch, so it's my turn to play. Just one minute, okay? Please okay, give me some time. Okay, not again. Ricardo, come here, I have something exciting to show you. What? You will like it, for sure. What do you want? Believe me, come on. Ah. Okay, Look at I'm me now. coming. I found a beautiful dress mm -hmm. from the brand from your hometown Tuscany. Let's have a look. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Look at me. You're so beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? It will cost mm, 5,000 euros in real. I prefer you in real life. Number two, you know, there are just much too many secrets you cannot find about by yourself. No, first of all, there are not that many secrets in the game. Second, if you play the game enough and you will find out all the secrets through YouTube videos, it's not that difficult. You can yes. handle it. Yes, but without the videos, you wouldn't find it out. It's not that bad. You can still play it further. Yeah, but the game itself doesn't help you in this. You need to find it out by yourself. So you need to do put extra energy into it to find it. So let's say, what kind of secrets do you mean? Do you have some examples? Yeah, of course. Like um, if you want to bury your money, the thing that you can take money into certain spots where it lights up and you can bury the money there and then after a few days a tree grows out of it and you can get three times the award of it and how you can get more loot out of your stones with the trick with the digging behind you and then hitting and you get nine stuff uh, nine uh, loot things instead of eight however it is not that bad if you only get eight items instead of nine items i can live with it yeah, that's right. And how you could get to the bamboo islands um, so that you need to clap. This is really hard. I mean, how you're supposed to know that you need to stand in front of this <laughs> of this guy there, of the stupid guy waiting for you for, for paying for the tickets and then clapping, 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 clapping. And sometimes and he, it and works. And he is really shy and he has some hearts around yeah. him. And at this moment, I can use my ticket and fly to another island. I tried several times because I wanted to have bamboos on my island. Um, bamboo, it's called. I wanted to have bamboos uh, on bamboo. my island. <laughs> bamboo. Bamboo, it's, it's the English word for it. Yeah. I want some bamboo of... Uh, <laughs> I want some bamboo uh, on my island. However, I didn't get it to reach the bamboo island. I was really frustrated, you know. And then I watched some YouTube videos and I got this trick. It doesn't work all the time, but I, I would say 80% of the time I can reach to the uh, bamboo island through this way. Yeah, you see, there's even a trick that doesn't even work 100% of the time. So it's... This is a magic of the game. It's so that bad you can, made. 
you are always motivated to get your get your goal. You have to try and try and try till you get it. Isn't it exciting? It isn't because you waste your time and that's it. Number three. So the third point is that there is not a proper aim in this game. You don't have a real story, you don't have real quests. So sometimes you, you, you do one thing and uh, for example if you want to build up a building you you pay for it and then you need to wait for it for one, two, three days until... One day by the way. Sometimes three. If it was the museum at the start you, you waited for two or three days. But normally only one day the yeah, building no. will be built. Okay, okay, normally one day. But anyway, you cannot continue to play this game at the same evening. You just need to to um, wait for the other next day. However, you know, there's a trick you can um, change your time. Yeah, I know. In Switch, you can change your time from today to tomorrow. And then uh, when you log in the game again, your building, your new home is built. built. It's, it's a trick you can have a try. That's a good help, yeah, okay, but I mean, normally the people don't know it if they don't find out uh, on the internet we have the same subject again, and uh, yeah, I mean, th that's the point, I mean, you can do a lot of things, but you don't have a real reward besides that, uh, that's, that's the point number four, that you, you can't use they don't the items don't have a real purpose so you just uh, have them and um, that's it you can make your house beautiful your island you can do it uh, so uh, yeah I mean that's a bit boring don't you think sometimes you can use the items for example you can take a shower in your bathroom you can cook something and uh, I can go around on my bed so I can I can do something with my items. They have their meaning. Yeah, but the thing is they're beautiful to look. You even have an animation. This is an animation, but at the end you don't really have a big advantage out of it. Like I don't want any advantages through this game. I just want to relax after my busy life, busy daily life. I like the feel feeling to explore more, to um, make more furniture, to make my own island more beautiful. It is, for me, it is really more important than using something. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can see it like that. For relaxing, maybe it's a good game, but what is it worth it for if me, you don't have any... For me, is more important than usage okay okay for me it's just boring but let's head to the next point which is number five so all the neighbors you have on the island have this weird kind of talk like and it's not a real language you don't have real words it's more like uh, sounds yeah yeah um yes some animals really have annoying sounds for example one of my neighbors is a horse he really annoys me i want to kick him out from my island it's an evil horse with such yeah. evil eyes and um, i, I want to keep him on, on her island <laughs> no I, I don't like him please move away i'm waiting for the time um, until he has a bubble on his head, which means he wants to leave and waiting for that day. But you know, um, their songs are a bit similar to their languages. You can try, for example, if they say mm, thank you or my name Jojo, then then they try to make them sound similar to to, to the to the real name. Maybe they will say Jojo. Really? Thank you. Thank you. Yes. They can. They can even speak some words. I never they, experienced that, they, guys. They try to speak their words, but not that clear. But you can somehow because find out. Because they're kind of <laughs> because they are stupid. <laughs> All right. 
So uh, you have to look, have a look at my octopus. Yeah, the octopus is, is, is it's sweet and it's doing like bloop, 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 something like it would be underwater sounds, yeah. but it's still not real words. I mean, they could have done it differently and also in a kind and sweet way, but okay. Maybe it's too much work to let any in animal to speak. Yeah, of course, they despair a lot of work there. they have hundreds of animals in yeah, this game. Yeah. So anyway, let, let, it, 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 it's equal for me. It, it doesn't disturb me. I like the animals. <laughs> okay, she likes it. Except for the horse. <laughs> okay, let's get to number six. So, um, there's a big problem with, uh, I think it's Nintendo servers uh, of Animal Crossing. If you want to visit uh, friends, like for example, she wanted to visit her friend uh, a few days ago. And she was trying uh, for it, like, I don't know, for, for one hour you tried one it. One hour I tried it. And it didn't work at all. So at the end it worked, but the whole time the internet was uh, working fine. It was just a problem about the game itself and the connection to the internet and to the servers. And this is really something they could uh, get better at. I mean... Yeah, till now I only had this problem um, as I tried to fly to my friend's island. But if I want to um, use the internet to um, get some clothing online, I didn't have this problem at all. Aha, uh -huh. okay, okay. So it seems to be a case. But I read already on, on uh, uh, news that um, they're saying that it happened several times. So the problem is that this connection seems to be a bit uh, unreliable, let's say. All right, let's get to number seven. So this is like, <laughs> this is like, uh, maybe more of a personal thing, but for me, this game is just, I mean, I'm a, I'm a man and for me, this game is a bit too cute. I know that many, many men are playing it, um, but there's still more women playing this game and I, I cannot say it's just a women's game, but it has a lot more of things I think that are attracting for women. I know some couples play this game together and they can use two accounts on on, on the island and the cool thing is many men their tasks are to um, earn money for the women no. <laughs> really <laughs> they, they, what, what? They, they make the furniture the whole day they fish or they ah you mean if they're playing like one guy uh, like the man is playing with the girl's account and just working no, no, for it, her it, two accounts can on um, different users can play on, on the same island two two users can play on yes the... oh really how mm -hmm. does that work i don't know you don't know <laughs> okay yeah. all right so let's get uh, to number eight the thing is, um, you really need to collect so many things. You're, th this game is like collecting, collecting the whole time. You collect, 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 and you need, for each thing you need to buy, you need a lot of things to collect. You need uh, a lot of money to collect to uh, amplify the size of your house. Um, yeah, I mean, it's too repetitive for me. That's, that's the thing to say. No, um, every day I will get three new um, instructions. I will get uh, three new instructions to the furniture um, and um, it gives me a really good feeling after the hard work, after I, I get my wood, after fish and finally I get my furniture and I can decorate um, my home. It's such a satisfaction, you cannot understand it. It is just the thing, it's not about repetitive, it's a feeling that you create your own life and you make the island, your own island, more beautiful. But I already have my own beautiful life, I don't need a virtual one. <laughs> right, number nine. So, um, Another problem is that you always need to collect animals, which is for me also one of the funniest part, parts, but um, you can only get till a certain point 
and they're not appearing new animals. They're always the same animals and you need to wait like one day, Insects. two days, three days mm -hmm. and right. insects, animals, insects and um, fishes for example. Yeah. And yeah, this is kind of annoying because uh, at a certain point you may get them but you need to wait a lot so it's like the game is artificially uh, yeah, making your progress slower. Let's say it like this. And it stops at, at a certain end of the day. Uh, you cannot get new animals. Yeah. Okay, and number 10, which is also a kind of important uh, point to me, that the island is just much too small. It may have a lot of things uh, to do on the island, but um, yeah, you want to see something new. The only new things that you see is the things that you put yourself on the island. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can even travel to other islands, you can visit friends. But all those islands are quite small and uh, yeah, I mean, even the one you fly to are quite similar to each other. So there's not enough uh, variation in this game. However, I think the size of the islands is optimal for me. It is not so big, it is not so small. And I can change um, the look of the island. And you didn't see it yet because I didn't do it yet. You have to watch more YouTube videos. There are so many five star islands. They look amazing. So there are a lot of different things that you can change the look of the island. Yeah. We can put new waterfalls um, and you can move, for example, you can make all the animals uh, on your island to live uh, in one room and um, to, to make the rest of the island like whatever you like, Chinese garden or um, Japanese style, the many different, uh, different ways. Yeah, there, there are, that's right, that's right, you can, you can uh, one island is always different from another because you have that many different uh, items you can get that uh, there's a big variation in, in uh, design. But like I said, for me, it's a lot of optical things and not there's no real skill needed to get those things. And there's not, it's like, like you said, in between, it's an easy game it's not i mean there's a lot to discover maybe but it's uh, i'm missing the challenge that's the point i'm really missing Who knows? The, challenge. the game continues to have new updates for example since the last updates there are new insects there are new fish yeah they are progressing so as you can see there are different opinions about this game and um, the ones like me where I say, okay, I, I don't like this game, it's boring, it, it, it's not my game. And there's opinions like hers. <laughs> uh, and she really likes it, she enjoys it. But if I can give you one last suggestion to the men who are watching this game, don't buy your women this game. Or they will play it the whole day. No. Yes. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's it for today. If you like this video, please subscribe it. Have <laughs> and also have a look into my description below. There you can find my homepage. It's everygamer.com. There you can have a good uh, comparison for international prices for different uh, gadgets. And yeah, it's worth a look. So see you next time. It was a pleasure. Thank you for being here. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Don't ring forget. the bell. <laughs> bye. Bye bye.